So in terms of devices and, and electrophysiology, everybody knows about the pacemaker. Mm -hmm. You know, that was the first tried and true device. Yes, is, that's is that exactly right. One of the first ones. So can you tell me about some innovations in the pacemakers? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm certain we've come quite a long way. Yes, we have. <laughs> so like a lot of things, uh, it's, it's miniaturization. That's one of the biggest advances that's been made. And you know, in the case of pacemakers, miniaturization isn't just something that you say, well, the smaller the better. It's actually, it makes a major difference, a significant difference in patient outcomes. Mm -hmm. Smaller devices, smaller pacing leads mean that there's less damage, mechanical damage, mechanical trauma to the body, the risk of, if, if you do it in, in some of the work that we're doing without even having a wire or a pacing lead, mm -hmm. uh, those leads often can fracture, they can get infected, so you're eliminating that variable. You're making um, the procedure, you're making the technology safer for the patient. Uh, you are allowing potentially the ability to charge it and power it externally using electromagnetic induction as opposed to having to change out the batteries, which is what we do now every few years. And every time you do that, there's more scar tissue, the risk of complications increase. So, um, and those are the things that we are really, really laser uh, focused on at this point.